Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Paul Cavanaugh Fieldhouse for interleague basketball. A big one. Cambridge against English. The Lynn ROTC presenting the colors at midcourt. We'll have the anthem and we'll be underway. So we had the anthem, Dick Newton, the athletic director. Former very good player here at Lynn English. He'll introduce the Cambridge lineup. Chris Harriet was number one. Isaiah Warsane was number three. Henry Bonney. Harris Moses. Jeffrey White wears 55. Number two for English is Kyle Kamembin. Three is Denzel Gillian. Pierre Veras. Ten is Paul Will Ding. And number five, Joshua. Number five is Joshua Anderson Jr. Elvin LeBrew, the head guy for English. Gio Rodriguez. So it's the Dual County, Cambridge, against the Greater Boston League, English. <clears throat> and they uh, almost mimicked. Cambridge won the Dual County League. English won the Greater Boston League. Both teams have won 15 games. Cambridge is 15 and two. English is 15 and three. They know each other. They were here last year playing in the state tournament and English beat Cambridge here. So Cambridge looking for a little bit of revenge. English has a little bit of a height advantage. It'll be Anderson jumping against Boney, Bonnie at center court to get us started. Pretty good crowd here. They, they thought they were going to get more. They didn't bring the stands down on the other side totally, but there's people sitting on the other side. And so a decent crowd on a cold Friday night as we end the regular season. Cambridge will have a chance to get on the board first. The English will do that typical man to man and double any, any chance they get.
They went underneath. They couldn't get it off. The shot off the rim, no good. Tipped from Anderson to Veris. Anderson from the free throw line. It hit the officials underneath and see it. The official outside did it. Hit the guide wire over the basket. So again, Cambridge will get a chance to get on the board first. Full court pressure, they double up. Gets it down. Three point shot. Harris Moses. Hits the three. They lost it. Layup hit the bottom of the rim by Moses. From the corner, off the side of the backboard. Dang. The follow by Commendon gets English on the board. Another three point basket by Moses. And it's 62 Cambridge. You go that full court pressure, if they beat it, they got a lot of people down the court. Julian answers with a three. And the opposition will get good shots. Inside, nice pass to White. Bonnie made a nice pass inside. White with the easy layup. King has it taken away. The basket goes by White. He's going to look for a conventional three-point play. Dang trying to go to the basket with a tough shot. Lost it and gave Cambridge the break. And they took advantage. And they've doubled up on English in the first three minutes, 10 to 5. Looking for the conventional three is White. Missed it. Tip. Spin around by Guyen. They go inside. Bonnie was out of bounds. They made the nice pass when English doubled up. He was open, but he, but he came from out of bounds to get the pass. Straight man to man by Cambridge. Anderson hits the two. And English is back within one, scoring the last four points. Long three-point bomb, Anderson with the rebound. He was a chance to get their first lead. Guillen with a long three-point bomb. He was almost at half court. Moses lost it, taken away by Dang and Guyen combined. Wrap around doesn't go, follow doesn't go. Bonnie saved it. Behind the back, what a play. 
Moses got the layup. But Wasane with an outstanding behind the back pass. Ding again trying to do a too much one on one. <laughs> Ding again. Harriet lost it out of bounds. Dang trying to do a little too much one on one. Has lost it a couple of times. Guyen will bring it up. 12 to 9, Cambridge. Shot misses. They clear away. Thought about it, didn't take it. They kick it to the corner. Short, strong. Tipped away. They give it to Dang. Missed the layup because he got hit. They tipped it away. Bang, Dang breaking. He was wide open. He got hit as he was laying it in. He'll get two with the line. So he started out quickly. It we slowed it down a little bit offensively on both sides. Dang gets on the board. Gets English in double digits. They're down 12 to 10. Missed it. Cambridge comes away with the rebound. Off the rim, no good. Anderson with the rebound, two on one. Offensive foul. They could have given it up. They chose to go to the basket. And they commit the offensive foul. So both teams looking for their 16th win. Wide open underneath, missed the layup, tipped away. They had quite wide open. Buishi missed the shot, he just came in. Moses got stuck, but he gets it up court. Wide open inside, White. And that's what I'm talking about. If they double up, triple up, they're leaving people open for wide open shots. Kamemba can't hit the shot. Three point bomb. We're gonna get a foul against Cambridge on the rebound. Shane Knowlton Shamad in the game for English. Inside, he just came in, he gets a basket. Excuse me, that was Veris. 13, not 15. Final minute and counting. Cambridge by two. Tipped away, almost went in the backcourt. Tough shot, hangs, but doesn't go. But we see his open and lays it in off the pass from Samad. And we're dead even at 14, and Cambridge can take the last shot of the period.
at the buzzer. So Cambridge led throughout. They led by as many as five. A little rally by English gets them back in the game. We started the period dead even. We finished the period dead even. English 14, Cambridge 14 after a period. Back here at the Cavanaugh Fieldhouse, English battles to tie it up and they'll have the chance to get their first lead. They get the ball shot the second eight minutes. Three point bomb by Gillian. His second trifecta. And English has got their first lead. Strong to the basket, Abibi. Gets Cambridge on the board quickly in the second period. Missed the shot. Follow doesn't go. Tip. Gillian lost it. Buisi missed it. Cambridge comes away. We'll have a jump ball. It'll be Cambridge basketball. English missed a couple of easy shots. Offensive foul, he made the great pass. Through the defense, made the great pass. Did Harriet. But then he ran over the defensive player. So English gets it back up one. Kimmerman down the lane. Gets hit, he'll go to the line for two. He found a spot. Went with the underhand scoop. He'll look for two with the line. Catch the bounce. Got the bounce again. Three point bomb, English with the rebound. Strong drive to the basket by Kevin. English has the biggest lead of five. From dead in the corner, they throw in the three. Howard with the three-point basket. Ding missed the shot. Block. Gillian made the block, but then he stopped it to congratulate himself. And Abibi got the rebound and laid it in. And we're tied at 21. Second tie of the game. Guyen in and out. From dead in the corner. That's another three. Washane. And all of a sudden, 
That five-point lead that English had has gone by the boards. Eight straight points. So an eight nothing run after English had opened up their biggest lead of five. Gives Cambridge a three point lead. Back to back threes, Washington and Howard. From almost the same spot, dead in the corner. These teams could very well meet again in the state tournament as they did last year with English winning. English, even though they're 15 and three, if they win out, they still won't get a home game because they're ranked first and foremost by the league and the league is ranked down near the bottom of the barrel, GBO, GBO league. Anderson going to the basket, got hit. Tough shot to take, but he missed it high off the glass, but he got hit. He'll get two at the line. Gamage only has one more foul to waste before English shoots two. And that new rule, five fouls per period, instead of seven, one, and one. Missed the first. Yes, is having a terrific year. It's a huge part of the success English has had. Makes one. English had six scorers in the first period. Cambridge had two, White and Moses. Hammerman goes to the basket, gets fouled. So that's the limit. We have over half a period left. Any fouls by Cambridge will put English at the line for two. Kemmerman back at the line, looking for two from the line to give us our third tie. Both teams making substitutions. Makes them both. We got our third tie. He threw it away in the backcourt. Guyen, Kellerman can't follow. They missed two easy layups. They were wide open both times, and he missed both. Shot too strong. Look at an offensive foul against the Anderson. Trying to set a screen for Guyen to go around. First team foul. Second foul on the Anderson, and that sends him to the bench. Cambridge with a chance to break the uh, third tie. He faked, left himself wide, great play by White. He faked the pass, English went for it, left him wide open for the layup. <laughs> 
Tough shot. We're going to jump ball. It'll be English's basketball with the alternate possession. That's a tough shot. Ferris has to back it out. Puglisi with a long three knocks it down. And the English has the lead back by one. Can't get the shot off. Trying to back in. Fakes. Step call. He stopped the fake. Then he was going to go wrap around a little spin. Took an extra step. English will get the basketball. Dang, bring it up. Hemmerman throws it in. He's got eight in the period. Off the rim, no good. English with the rebound. Burris, coast to coast, lays it in. And English matches their biggest lead. And now we got Cambridge coming back. Guyen too strong. Too strong again. Dang lost it. Tipped around. The ball goes to the floor. Cambridge saves it. Cambridge called timeout. They'll hold on to the basketball. Thirty-one twenty-eight English it was fourteen fourteen at the end of the period. English got a five-point lead, twenty-one to sixteen. Cambridge won on an eight-nothing run to open up a three-point lead. English answered with a ten-to-two run to get their five-point lead back. Cambridge got that break. They were looking for a three-point play. They missed it. The foul shot. They did get two to cut the lead to three. And with that slipping and sliding and the ball all over the floor, everybody trying to get a piece of it. Gio Rodriguez from Cambridge calls timeout, and he'll, they'll hold on to the basketball. One twenty-six left in this first half. It's been back and forth, back and forth. Every time it looks like somebody's going to run out and hide. Cambridge had a ten to five lead. English has had a five point lead twice. And that English defense again, you press, you double up, you leave somebody open and Cambridge got some wide open layups. Moses and White have eight apiece. Kemmerman has ten for English. Gillian has eight. And Cambridge will have the basketball.
shot clock winding down. I don't think they know it. They got the shot off. Rebound went to White and he laid it in. Dang again. Had problems. White looked like he traveled first, but he's going to get two at the line for the chance to give. Came as the lead back. If he misses this, we'll have our fourth tie. Well, it's been a game of runs for both teams. Right now, Cambridge is having the last one. We're just under a minute left. He makes them both. And Cambridge has a one point lead. He is back in. Missed the shot and went out of bounds. Cambridge can't take the last shot. 44 seconds left. They can use up most of it. Instead, Moses will throw in his third trifecta. Pass picked off. English gave it away. Cambridge can take the last shot. Long three point bomb. I don't think they wanted that. And we got a reach in foul. That's going to put Dagan at the line for two because that'll be the fifth foul. Dang, we'll get two at the line. Trying to get English a little closer. Cambridge, if he makes the free throws, Cambridge can get the last shot. Nine seconds left. Makes one. Missed the second one. Tipped up. Jump ball, it'll be Cambridge's basketball with five seconds left. They throw it away. Loose, that's going to do it. So a game of runs. English had a 10 to two run to grab a five point lead, 31-26. Cambridge has the last run, nine to one to end the half, and they'll take a three point lead. It's 35-32 Cambridge with a half left here at Cavanaugh Fieldhouse. Welcome back to the Cavanaugh Fieldhouse. We have a half left in this big one between the dual county champions, Cambridge, and the greater Boston League champions, English. Back and forth and back and forth we go. We had three ties at 14, 21, and 24. A final 11 to eight run. Made it 35, 32. It was actually a nine to one run at the end for Cambridge after English took a five point lead. English will have the basketball. Cambridge has a three-point lead, and we'll run away. Ding, Guyen, Anderson, Veras, and Kamembin, the five out there for English. 
Oh, they grabbed the whole commitment shirt. They dip it for a three. Off the rim, no good. English had the rebound, Cambridge knocked it out. They grabbed, they grabbed Commitment's shirt. I could see it from here. I don't know how the officials, there's three officials, I don't know how one of them didn't see it. Guyen will bring it up. Cambridge straight man to man. Dan with a long three, misses it. Burris with the rebound. Dang with the drive. Cambridge by one. When English gets back and plays good defense, Cambridge only get one shot at the basket. English is controlling the backboard. But with that all out press, they're giving easy shots to Cambridge when they double up and leave people open. They go underneath the Bonnie, he missed the shot. And Bonnie knocks it out. He was fighting with the Anderson for the rebound or the loose ball. Bonnie got that great pass from White and he missed the layup. And English has a chance to get back on top. Guyen going to the basket. Anderson in and out. Veris knocked it loose, but White came up with it. In and out. Veris got a piece of it. Dang commits the foul. He landed on top of White. White will get two with the line. White's been the only one getting any offensive rebounds and defensive rebounds. They haven't got a lot of offensive rebounds. They got a couple. White hits the first. Missed that one. Varus lays it in, and guess what? We got a tie. Four ties. Little mini run by English, four to one. Tuck, shot clock winding down. They had to get rid of it. Strong to the basket by Kemberman. <laughs> Looking for a three-point play. Kemberman had 10, Gillian had eight in that first half. Moses had 11 and White had 12 for Cambridge. <laughs> Missed the shot. Underneath Bonnie, great pass.
Great pass under here, scooped by White. And we have our fifth tie. Dang shot misses. Reach in foul is going to be against Kamimba. Shot blocked. English comes away with it. There it is. Got the rebound, went coast to coast and laid it in. English up by two. Bevis went for the steal, didn't get it. That let White go strong to the basket. He get hit, he'll get two with the line. Gets the bounce. Played half the period. Cambridge only has one basket. Mix them both. And guess what? We have our sixth tie. He'll clear out and let Guyen bring it up. Grabbed the shirt again. I can see it. I don't know how they can't. Luisi gets fouled. I don't think they're going to call it a shooting foul. Again, Kim is getting a little bit of foul trouble. That, that's their third. They only have one to win. Luisi underneath gets hit. And they quickly pick up their fourth foul. And that means they'll be shooting two the rest of the way. And we still have over three minutes left. We see we'll get two at the line trying to break the tie. This is going down to the wire. It could be the last run. There have been runs for both teams. The last run could, be, could decide the winner. Missed it. Tipped up. They get it back. Bonnie takes it away from Varas. Great pass from Bonnie to White. Looking for a three point play. Great pass by Borney and Wayne just powered it in. And guess what again? English is down two. Would have counted it didn't go off the rim. Kemmerman will get two at the line. All the players missing for us tonight is 
Lewis Ledesma. I don't know if he's hurt. They didn't call it a shooting foul. I don't know why. Looked like he was going in the basket. Dang shot and the air ball. Three point shot misses. Well about the end, great hustle. <coughs> Harriet gets it. <coughs> We're gonna foul and English is gonna get two with the line. Both teams in foul trouble. Both teams will be shooting two. Seven ties in the game. <laughs> Got the bounce. I hate to sound like a broken record, but we got another tie. Five ties in this period, eight ties in the game. Too strong. Luisi with the rebound. Guyens had it blocked. Nice defense by White. Cambridge screaming for a foul, they didn't get it. Dang with a long three. Brings it home. That breaks the tie and gives English a three point lead. And they get it right back. Washing. English call the timeout. Talk about two equal teams. Six ties in this third period. Nine ties in the game. 48 48 with 106 left. And I mentioned. The last run by whichever team gets it is going to win the game at the end of the game. It's just been no lead has been safe. Gamers had a lead of five a couple of times. English had a lead of five a couple of times. Gamers had a nine to one run to open up uh, to overcome a five point deficit to take a three point lead into the half. English came out quickly, got it going, got the lead, and then White went to work. He's got six in the period. A big three by Deng gave English some breathing room, and Joshua Wassane answered right back with a three of his own to give us the sixth tie in the period, and we still got a minute six left. I don't think I've ever seen a game like this. Nine ties. One at the end of the first period, two in the second period. Six here in the third period. No lead is safe. English has the basketball. Almost stolen away. Dang had a fight to get it back. Kevin looking to go to the basket. 
Lost it out of bounds. Eagles shooting a lot of one on one and turning the ball over. Down court. White gets fouled. Again, they double triple in the backcourt. It, it leaves the play up open under the basket. And White will get a couple. Looking to break the tie. Seven points in the period for White, five of them from the free throw line. Missed it. Cambridge by one. Shot again, one on one. Off the rim, no good. Shot blocked. Great job by Veris, and we got a foul. He's gonna go to the line for two. Veris did a great job blocking the shot, took it away, and he got hit. He'll get two at the line. In and out. Hits the bounce. And that gives us our tenth tie. English takes it away. Hammerman with a great play. Stole it. Nice fake. Slammed against the backboard. As the horn sounds. Great play by Kemberman. He took it away, made a great move, stopped, fake left, went right, laid it in, and he gives English a two-point lead. After we had seven ties in the period, 10 ties in the game, English leads by a basket. 51-49 English going into the fourth period. So we gave you a quick look at the cheerleaders hitting it here, rooting English on. Cambridge will have the basketball. And English has a two point lead. Great play. Ferris made the defensive play. Yo. Made a great play. Come in then with another layup. English by four. Abibi with the layup. Get out of the way. Good 
Cambridge tests it last. It goes out of bounds. We're going to English play it down up court. They're helping them up. That's Commembin. He got the two big buckets at the end of the third period. Help English get a two point lead. And they have the ball with a two point lead. Almost stolen away. Guyane with the fall away. English by four. Three point shot. Abibi got five in a row. And the lead is a point. Gang gave it away. Veris tried to save it. And Gamers can get the lead back. Again, a little too much one on one. Inside, offensive foul against Cambridge. He caught it and leaned in and knocked, went over the defender to take the shot. English will have the basketball and a one point lead. Ding will bring it up. Rishi looking to go to the basket. Around the rim and out. That hit all over the rim. Cambridge is looking for another foul. And we got a foul against English. White's finding a home inside. He's got two more at the line with a chance to give Cambridge the lead. That gives White 20 points. He's having a game and a half. And 21 gives his team a one point lead. Uishi tried to give it to Anderson. Anderson gets his first bucket. It's a big one. Puts, him, puts English back up. The basket counts. Harriet with a great drive. He's looking for a conventional three. Anderson picked up his fourth foul. He's going to go to the bench. Cambridge by two. Off the rim. That's a tough shot. Off the rim, no good. Oh, 
Kuishi, another tough shot. They go full, full court. White with a touchdown pass to Howard. And just about the halfway mark, 61 to 47, Cambridge. So the first half of this fourth period, Cambridge, a 12 to six run. A great pass, touchdown pass from White to Howard. Gives Cambridge a four point lead. English, again, trying to do a lot one on one. Gillian settled out quickly and a couple of threes in the first half. He's only got a bucket in the second half. And they've cooled off. Cambridge going full court pressure. Their pressure is full court, man to man. Ting will bring it up. Every possession is very important now. Emberman missed a shot. The Rask couldn't get the rebound again. One on one. Steps called as he tried to make the pass. English not getting everybody involved like they normally do. They're trying to do it all by themselves. So he had a long three off the rim. Every possession important now for both teams. Coach Rodriguez talking to his troops. Foul against English. Moses, who had 11 points in the first half, is looking for his first points in the second half. And trying to extend the four point Cambridge lead. Missed the first. Anderson is coming back. Cambridge will take a timeout as Moses makes a free throw and Cambridge just matched their biggest lead of the game. They had Five point lead in the first half. And with just over three minutes left now, they have a five point lead. It's, it's a very busy schedule for St. Mary's. Doesn't get any easier. They're back in the St. Mary's Classic, this being Friday night. They'll play Saturday night at five o'clock against Malden Catholic and win or lose. They'll play Monday, either in the loser's bracket or the championship final is huge spot in classic they got division one two and three a ton of teams coming from all over so a busy time they'll play three games in in four days
They're going to try and come back with this one. They trail by five. Cambridge has made four three throws in this fourth period. English hasn't gone to the line. Guyen will bring it up. Every possession important now for English. Kemberman looking to go to the basket. Shot clock winding down. They got to get it up. Off the rim, no good. Anderson with the rebound. It thrown away. And now Cambridge throws it away. Tang is coming back. Tang gets fouled, only the second foul on Cambridge. They're not in foul trouble this period. They're in foul trouble all the first three. The clock is the enemy now for English. They're down five with just over two minutes left. Every possession important. Around the rim and out. Tipped up and out. Cambridge throws it away. English can't take advantage. Cambridge trying to keep him in the game, and English can't reciprocate. One tick over two minutes left. Shot no good. Cambridge couldn't save it, went off Cambridge. Dang with a tough shot. We see around the rim and in, that is a long drought. That's only their eighth point in the period. They're down three. They gotta go to work defensively. The clock is the enemy. Almost stolen. No good, English with the rebound. Cambridge is going to get called for the foul. That's a good call. Cambridge didn't like it. But Moses threw a cross body block at Ferris. English will take a timeout. If English could get a three, we'd have our 11th tie. Coach Rodriguez out on the floor after the officials. He actually did throw a cross body block. He hit him with a little hip check. But a game like this, everybody's hoping the official lets it go. English has the basketball. They're down three with just over a minute, a minute and 16 left. So this is a must score. They like to get three. They want to get at least two to make the last minute interesting. Alvin Abreu talking to the troops. She's done an outstanding job at English. Second year in a row, they won the Greater Boston League.
It's funny how the football coach for Glasgow is a former outstanding English football player, and the basketball coach for English is a former outstanding classical player. So English with the basketball, down three in this intercity battle. Hammer's trying to get a, a split here at English after losing last year in the tournament. Commendant throws it in. Hammer's can't run the clock out. Hammers by one. White gets knocked down. He'll get two at the line. Baskets English has all scored Cambridge 10 to 9. But free throws, Cambridge has made four, English hasn't made any. White has made 10 free throws. The English team has made nine. English needs a three. Commendant throws it in. Cambridge can, English might have to foul. Cambridge, if they run the 35 second clock down, English would have 1.8 seconds to try and score. Cambridge is winning the game at the free throw line. They're up a point. They've all scored English 13 to 11 from the free throw line. 11 of those free throws by Jeffrey White, who has 23 points. So English needs to stop. Defense has to come up big here. We mentioned both teams looking for win number 16. Drew County, Cambridge, Greater Boston League, English. English looking for a sweep here at the Cavanaugh Fieldhouse against Cambridge after beating them in the state tournament last year. Cambridge trying to get back to even and make it one apiece. But English Needs the ball. Hey. English almost got it. Everybody on their feet. Cambridge has brought a lot of fans. Lynn fans cheering, everybody here. English fans cheering defense, defense. English almost stole that ball.
Amos went on that 12 to 6 run to open up a 61 57 lead. And White has been the difference. Going 4 for 4 from the free throw line. Beebe come in this fourth period, get the two point and that long three for five points in that 12 to six run. Kimberman has tried to bring English back. He's got 20. 10 in the second half, six here in the fourth period. But they need the ball. This is gonna be a tough loss no matter who loses. English can't foul, they'll put cameras at the line again. They almost had a five second call. Stolen away. Cambridge knocks it out. They slipped, tripped, fell, lost the ball. Ding had it. They almost got a layup. English has the basketball with 26 ticks left. Now everybody. English fans holding their breath. Cambridge fans holding their breath. We go down to the final 26 seconds. Cambridge leading by one. Cambridge can foul if English runs the clock down and English won't go to the line. They would have to foul twice to put English at the line. So Cambridge, there was almost a five second call getting it in. They looked like they had it easily going up court. Harriet slipped a little bit, fell, lost his balance. Dane came up with a loose ball. English had a shot at a layup. <coughs> it got blocked and knocked out by Cambridge. So English with a life. They were down five, now they're down one. Kemberman has brought them back with a couple of buckets. Let's see who English goes to. Kilian will put it in play. They get it to Anderson. Hammerman lays it in. No, 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 no. Hey. Looking for a three point play. Cambridge will have 19 seconds. Anderson gave him the ball. He went to the basket, laid it in. Nine points in the period. English by two. Everybody up on their feet. And we got a foul. Two at the line for Harriet with five seconds left. We could have our 11th tie.
He missed it. English is going to win it. Cambridge committed a foul. English with two at the line, but there's 3.5 seconds left. Hey, guys. Yo. Hammerman has been the star. He can make it a three-point game with three seconds left. Missed it. Cambridge knocked it out and that'll do it. English is going to win it. They're going to make it two in a row here at the Cavanaugh Fieldhouse. They fouled Kevinman with 1.2 seconds left. It's incidental now. I have to direct traffic because all the English students are standing up in front of us. Missed the first. English by three with 1.2 seconds left. Cambridge just have to throw a football pass the length of the court to knock it home for a three to get a tie. Himmerman has been unbelievable. 11 points in the fourth period. He's got all the last points. English made the big steal down a point. They got the one point lead, made it two. Cambridge missed the free throw. As you can tell, you probably saw him walk right in front of us. They don't care the cameras here, I guess. They can sit down and see. I guess they think they can see better if they stand up. Cameras can do nothing, really. All they can do is throw it the length of the court. And he threw it off the roof. So English will take it and put it in play with 1.2 seconds left. English, we mentioned both teams looking for 16 wins. It'll be English that gets their 16th win. Cambridge will drop to 15 and three, and that'll do it. They can celebrate, and they can celebrate Kyle Kamemben. What a fourth period he had, getting 11 points in the fourth period, bringing English all the way back. And the last run, as I mentioned before, it was Kimmerman with the last run. They got English over the top. They'll go to 16 and three. Cambridge will drop to 15 and three. And English sweeps the series last year and this year here at the Cavanaugh Fieldhouse. They win both games against Cambridge here last year in the state tournament. And it was Kimmerman getting it done. 17 points in the last period for English. 11 of them by Kimmerman. Jeffrey White was immense for Cambridge. 11 points from the free throw, from the free throw line. 
he wound up with 23. Moses had 12. He had 11 in the first half. Abibi had nine. Wasain had eight. For English, Veris had nine. Deng had nine. Anderson had five. Puisi had eight. Gillian had 12. And Kemberman had 25. 11 in the fourth period. <coughs> and English has the last run. Kemmerman supplying the last run for English. They were down 61-57. They were down again by five. Kemmerman got a couple of buckets to get them back. He got another bucket to get them over the top. And he just kept scoring it. And then he hit three free throws down the stretch. And he was the difference as English wins it 68 to 65. So they'll have, they'll be very upbeat going into the Spartan Classic tomorrow. And they don't have a, a lot of time to celebrate. They'll go into the Spartan Classic tomorrow, taking on Malden Catholic. But a great win for English, a tremendous basketball game. I mentioned hard loss for either team. It's going to be a tough bus ride back to Cambridge. They lost a very tough game. They played great, especially Jeffrey White. But they come up short as English behind Kyle Kemmerman sneaks out with a 68-65 to win. English will go to 16-3. Cambridge will drop to 15-3. And, and Kemmerman with 25, 11 in the fourth period was the difference in the game. And now on to the Spartan Classic and Malden Catholic tomorrow. But they'll celebrate this one for a while tonight and during the day tomorrow. Get ready for 5 o'clock at St. Mary's tomorrow. A busy week for English, but they get it started with an outstanding win against a very good basketball team. English 68, Cambridge 65. We had 10 ties in the game. That's how close this one was. 68-65 English with Kimmerman leading the way. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm John Hoffman saying we'll see you next time.